Welcome. Wait. Wait. <laughs> my crap out of the way. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I should have set this up beforehand. I didn't do any... any work before I did this. I just started the stream for fun. What's good? So I was just sitting around about to put the buttons in and I was like, why not stream? Welcome. Happy Monday. I'm Mr. Put the Buttons in. It's one of these streams. Yes, it is. I'm putting the buttons in. Welcome, welcome. Yellows. Yellows in first. I might do another uh, thing for the stream tonight. But this is my right now. I'm just here to put these in and talk. So basically, I have this nice little cab. And I'm putting a bunch of buttons in. That's literally all this stream is. I'm Mr. Put the Buttons in. Because I'm putting all these buttons in. What are the buttons? All I see are holes. Wait, wait. Watch and be amazed. Watch and be amazed, my brother. I just have to... Is this a cabinet for what? Have you not been paying attention to the stream? Brother. Hello? Hello? actually harder to do than I thought it would be like streaming and doing this Here we go. is it there okay so uh I was wondering once I get this put together two buttons two buttons I was wondering, once I get this all put together, uh, what should the art be? And part of me feels like I should let the stream pick. So everybody just sends in stickers. And then the stickers get put onto the cab, because the cab is black. But I think that might be kind of tacky, you know? They look a little weird without the raised circles around the buttons. <clears throat> they have it. You can't really see it. They have, like, a little black thing. Can't really see it because of the background. Uh, yellow. Okay. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Just got off the phone with my friend. Julie's asleep. Now's in bed. I'm chilling. It was either do this or play Ghost of Tsushima. And I am, when I get on a project, I am uh, obsessive, let's say. 
And I finally got the parts in today that I needed for this. So, I was very obsessed to get this fucking done. Um, so here I am. Oh, motherfucker, come on. I, uh... I don't like letting things lie. And this fucking cabinet has been behind me for, like, three months with no progress. So, I finally got the cabinet pieces. So, I said, fuck it, I'm working on this. So, here I am. Ghost of Tsushima is pretty fun when I first played it, but I'm a sucker for those kind of games. Me too, that's my worry, is like, I'm... Like I said, I'm kind of obsessive, and I'm a... I'm a beat all the beat the whole game kind of guy, you know, so like I'm gonna fucking 100% the game whether I like it or not What the fuck is this? Why isn't it going in? What are you doing? What the fuck is your problem? Come on, dude Is there? Oh my god, man. All right This shit's pissing me off I'm trying to make sure like it's in such a way that there's no gap. Got it. Okay. Uh, hold on. Mr. No Gap. Where have I heard this song? What is this from? Big Brain Academy. Okay, I definitely haven't heard that. I've never played that game. Don't make the joke, chat. It's too easy. Dude, so I made that tweet about Sonic Adventure. Good lord. I know what's gonna happen every time I do it, but I still love doing it. Mario and Sonic fan came back. Uh, and he's responding to every tweet individually again. It's very funny. Um, and then this other guy is just like, you sound like a total asshole. Yeah, you're a dickhead. You're a total piece of shit. And I'm like, that's a... Very weird thing to say to somebody on the internet. Like, you don't know me. <laughs> Why do you feel comfortable talking this way to people online? It's very weird. Did I do this right? Ah. Can I go this way? You guys can't see what I'm doing, but it's very technical. The fucking buttons can't work here. Oh my god. Okay. God damn it. This is harder than it looks. really not looking forward to the wiring part. The wiring part's gonna be a fucking disaster. Did I get everything? Player four is in! A player four. Let's do player three. A 
I just don't get why people think that like somebody wants to hear their opinion about a Sonic game beyond a tweet. It's so weird to me. It's a large number of people that were like linking me YouTube videos and shit. Like, no, watch this. Watch this, you gotta understand. I'm like, huh? There we go. Now you can see player four. Uh, oh, wait, no. This is player three. My bad. You guys can't even see what I'm doing because this shit's up. That's just what I was what, that's what I was talking about with the Sonic fandom though. It's weird that like so many of them are so deferential to like YouTubers. It's it's very clear like, you know, they like a Sonic game and instead of just feeling that way, they feel like they need somebody on the internet to tell them they're right. That's such a weird instinct. But I guess that's the economy that GameSpot and IGN are based on, so who the fuck am I, right? Uh. Wait. Pony, this would be perfect for your CTA right now. You can look through the big hole and film a CTA. Oh, yeah? Hold on. Let me see. God damn it. I don't want to break it. Oh! Hi there! Didn't see... Is this even working? Could I do like... Yeah, it won't work. I don't think it'll work. Bad idea. Bye. How do I poke through the big hole? This? There's no hole there. Well, hold on. There's a hole in the bottom. Thank you, Kia Wind. Thank you, Kia Wind, for the Prime Gaming. Wow! Prime Gaming. <laughs> what are you building? This is the control panel for my arcade cabinet. I've wanted a, an arcade cabinet uh, since I was a kid uh and i'm gonna put every game ever made on this uh so i've got a lot of custom things built so this is the control panel part and i have to put in each button individually I briefly fell down a rabbit hole of YouTube voice coaches reviewing singers from bands I like and, of course, universally praising them. Same as the Sonic stuff. I mean, like, the internet is just a, a constant... It's a machine for validation. That's, that's, that's at the center of everything, right? That's at the center of social media, and that's why people want to... It feels good to, to get people to... It feels good to get people to interact, and the easiest way to do that is to tell them what they already know. You feel me? Oh, like this? Oh, hi there. Hold on, it'll be better once I get the buttons in. It might be a while. It might be a while. But once I get the buttons in, it'll be better. Is there a uniform layout for most arcade games? No. I mean, this is, this is, uh, it's like the, the, the board that I have in there is, uh, three buttons per player. It's four player, but it's three buttons each. So this one is 
eight for players one and two, four for three and four. I actually only wanted six for one and two, but this company fucked up so many times I didn't want to deal with them anymore. So I was like, it's fine. Give me more buttons, I guess. More buttons for free, Pog. Big Pog. But yeah, I, I think, I think there's a real thing on the internet, and there's there is a marketplace for people who just want to be heard. And you can make a living on YouTube regurgitating the obvious shit. Is it the it, it can is it always going to hit? No, because everybody's going to do that, you know. But. Are you making this out of American or Japanese parts? I've heard there are subtle differences. These are, uh, I think these are Japanese parts. It's a mix. So this is an American board from some guy in Minnesota, I think. Um, the actual sticks themselves are like this. They're Suzo Hap. They're very nice. I think they're Japanese. Wait. I also have a USB track ball, which goes in here. Player three is almost done. Podgers. So by the way, I'm going to make a video responding to that fighting games tweet. I think it'll be funny. I didn't read the whole thing. I only read the first two things and I was like, this is amazing. I got to I got to I got to look at this. Oh, more scrub coins. Exactly. We're going to try to be empathetic. We're going to try to be empathetic. I might do that tonight. I don't know if I'm doing that tonight or tomorrow. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's too many! What the fuck? Ho! Oh, what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck? That's too much! That's $500! Holy fucking shit! What are you- JK Smash, what are you doing? What have you done? You can't even see me on the screen. Holy fucking shit. Thank you, JK Smash. That's crazy. Is this coin launcher? Hold on, I gotta now I gotta skip through all the alerts. Oh my god, dude. Thank you very much. Jesus Christ. That's insane. Thank you very much for your generosity. That's unreal. Thank you. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Fuck. I'm not worthy. Like... <laughs> I'm just building a fucking arcade!
You guys don't like Bat Top? I think I like Bat Top. I didn't know which one to go with. I liked, I kind of like the Bat Top. I can always change them. Bat Top is disgusting? Says whom? But sincerely, thank you, JK Smash. Gee, I don't even know what to say when that happens. Thank you is not enough. Fuck, thank you. That's part of why I don't like big gifts, because, like, I'm just... I don't know what to say, man. I'm just appreciative. Player four is in. Oh, that feels so fucking good. It feels so good, you guys. Eight buttons down out of... Let me see. Four, eight, six, twelve. I have twelve plus the ones at the top. So I think twenty-four or more. They sent me extra buttonholes, so I can't do anything with these. All right, let's do uh, player two. By the way, I saw other player or er, other streamers stealing my one more bit. That's cringe. I saw it in the uh, in the Discord. Was it Sanchovies? Crazy. Cringe. He must have taken it from me. He must have seen my stream for sure. Are you doing the wiring or just setting up the buttons? Uh, just the buttons. I'm not doing the wiring tonight. My JAMA adapter has been in transit since fucking December 9th. I think it's because of the, you know, USPS shit. Stealing other streamers bits. I know, it's cringe, right? Cringe. Bro fist. What even is a dad bod? I hate the phrase dad bod. It's just a body, man. What do you want me to... I've always hated the phrase dad bod. What does that even mean? Fat. It's fat. Just say fat. Just say fat. You know? Having a daughter didn't give me this. I had it anyway. Kind of like a bear, but for straight people. It's a body only a dad can have. That's literally untrue. Some form of discrimination. Dad body equals beer belly. I don't even drink. I don't even drink. I'm just fat. You don't look fat? I'm... I'm... I could stand to lose. I'm fine. My body type is a little bit, uh... On the stockier side. So. Fuck Twitch viewers, live your life. Oh, I'm not offended. It was just funny. My feelings aren't hurt. It's very difficult to hurt my feelings. I'm sorry if it, if it seemed like I was calling you out. Dad bod has more power than fat, does it? Strong fat is powerful. Strong fat is very strong. That's like Kevin Owens shit, you know? Is the big circle in the middle for some golden tea? You know it, brother! Try to do some fucking bowling? Some golf? I don't know what other game uses that. <laughs> the... I just, I didn't need a, you, I, it was one of those things that, like, I, uh, I was like, do I get the fucking, the trackball? Like, I regretted if I didn't have it. 
This is for a spinner, which has like three games. It's like fucking Arkanoid. That's it. They also have a four-way uh, option for a joystick, and I was like, that seems a little excessive. I don't need the true mappy experience, you know? Who gives a shit? Oh no, my Miss Pac-Man goes in eight directions. Oh no. Tony, do you have dad friends? Uh, a couple. Not many. I don't have many friends, period. I don't talk to that many people. I talk to the same people I've talked to for like 10 years. Old brawl people. You guys see them. It's Cat, Ray, Malcolm, Larry, Kenny. Like, you know, other than people who are more visible, like EE, e. Tant, TK. There's a guy named Peter that is like, you know, he's he's his wife is Mallory's friend, so he's my friend, but I really like him. He's a really cool guy. He actually, he's a carpenter. He does a lot of great stuff. But I hate it when, you guys will know this eventually, I hate it when my wife is like, uh, oh, you should hang out with this guy. You guys have the same sense of humor. You would love him. And then we hang out and I feel like I'm on a fucking play date. I'm sure he's a nice guy, but come on. You know? Were light ga gun games popular in the US? Uh, I mean, they're kind of popular. I'm getting light guns eventually once I get this hooked up. I want to play Point Blank. That's really it. I love Point Blank. John Mulaney is a good bit on this. Yeah, 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 exactly. This game uses trackball. I, c I cannot click on it. I actually can't click on it because my mouse is like out of the way. Where did I get the parts? Uh, the buttons and the sticks are Suzo hat. Um, the top is from a site called Game Room Solutions. I would not recommend it. Them working with them has been a fucking nightmare. I've had this panel here for like a month and they sent me the wrong pieces twice. They sent me the wrong team. They didn't send me any tea molding. And they're like, what tea molding color do you want? I said, red. They said, okay, we'll get you red. I asked for red. I never got red. I had to contact them and be like, hey, you didn't give me tea molding. They said, what color do you, do you want? I said, red. They said, oh, we're out of red. Do you want white? I'm like, sure. The fuck out of my face. This whole pros project has been so fucking shitty. Part of me wishes I paid money just for the, the, the meme cabinet just for an LED monitor, but at least then I don't have to worry about the fucking, the hassle of all this. I had a fucking CRT blow on me. It exploded. Like, this whole thing has been a disaster. What's T-molding? Um, how to explain? Uh, it is the, oh god, somebody link it. Uh, it's the thing that is around the arcade machine to like oh god how do I explain this were you okay yeah I was fine I was just it was like it blew up in the back of the machine so the trim yeah that's probably the best way to describe it it's like the trim around it what's crazy about a CRT monitor that they don't tell you at least an exposed one like an arcade the back of the um the back of the thing is open and there is a wire. There's just like a, a hookup that goes straight to the CRT. If you touch it, you die instantly. Not a joke. There is a wire back there right now and if I touched it, I would die instantly. There's an insane amount of electricity. It's very scary to look at because you know that feeling when you're like standing yeah cathode ray tool, tubes yeah you know that feeling when you're like standing over the edge of something and like you have that little instinct that's just like do it do it do it do it do it do it and you can almost feel your body like pulling you know what i mean i can feel my hand my my brain is telling my hand to move there and I'm constantly resisting it 
you know? That's how I feel. So I keep the power off at all times. Once I can put the backpack on it, I'll be fine. But right now, I'm in a constant struggle. Do you have a therapist? Nope. I, I don't want to die. You know, I'm fine. I'm very happy. I'm actually happier than I've ever been. I don't know. Patton Oswalt has a bit in one of his stand-up specials that, like, I don't want to die, but, you know, there are times where I just think, it's okay. If I just wasn't around, you know? He has a thing where he's shopping for TV dinners in a supermarket, and Africa by Toto comes on. This is before Africa was a meme song, and he just listened to it. And just, he felt right there, just a perfect moment of clarity that just like, if I was to go right here, you know? He didn't kill his wife, Will! Why do you keep saying that? Pat Oswalt also jokes about being clinically depressed. Oh, I, that's true, yeah. I don't think I'm depressed. I'm pretty happy. If I'm depressed, I'm a happy depressed. <laughs> I'm a happy depressed person. You know? They make those? I, I'm built different. What do you want me to say? All right, player two is done. Like I said, they sent me too many holes, so I got to fill those up at some point. I'm going to have to need new buttons. <laughs> Therapy sounds like it does good for everyone. Decide it, regardless if you have depression or not. I've considered therapy, uh, especially recently, because, like, before I was in a position... Oh, my God. Thank you, Pickle. Uh, before I was in a position where, like, you know, when you work at a, uh, at a, at a, at a white-collar job and you're sort of a cog in the machine, you're a drone bee, like I was, it's very easy to be like, you know, this is it. You're happy. You did the thing. You know, you're not... To, oh my god, I sound like a fucking BuzzFeed article. You have fulfilled your obligation. You went to college, you got a degree, you have a stable career. It will keep giving you minor raises. And if you don't want to go into management, this is it. And you know, it's very fine to feel satisfied that way. And it's very easy to feel sated. But now I'm in a career where it feels like the floor is always shifting. Which is good in a lot of ways. It's keeping me engaged, it keeps me interested. But I'm constantly fighting with this sense of not doing enough or a sense of, like, guilt for doing what I'm doing, you know? Um, seeing successful or people that I think should be successful fail. Seeing people that I think are hacks succeed. The content life is a, uh, it's a, it's a difficult one. You know? Not to say that what I'm doing is any better. Don't get me wrong. This is not the uh, the way I would do be uh, attack attacking content if I was uh, if I had my druthers. Don't get me wrong. I'm very happy doing what I'm doing, but YouTube definitely rewards a certain style, which is I think why I'm always going to be more of a streamer than a YouTuber. You feel me? Thanks, Doc. It's a different, it's just a different animal. But I've considered therapy. Try to understand why I have this feeling of guilt for doing what I'm doing, you know? I'm just glad, I, I feel like I've avoided a lot of, um... You want to add your phone as a second camera? Oh, I could do that, actually. I feel like I've avoided a lot of pitfalls that a lot of other streamers have. And it's probably just because I'm not big enough. But, like, parasocial relationships and, uh, I don't know. Like, 
either parasocial people or getting too attached to fans. You know what I mean? Like, like the fucking streamers that are DMing people constantly. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there, there are weird things that go on in the streaming world. And I always try to keep a healthy, you know. Don't get me wrong. I like you guys. I love you guys. But I love you as a group. And I have the advantage of not being such a big streamer that I don't know you guys individually. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know you guys based on how you type. But... Shit. Put it in backwards. Family seems to help with that boundary. I don't know if it's a family thing or if it's an age thing. I've said this before. The internet to me is not the same. Like, I think if you've grown up with the internet and you're, like, young, you just, you may be a little bit more flippant about it. But, what the fuck is this song? I think people with or who had shitty home lives latch onto content creators more. It's impossible to say, because, like, it, I think it's an easy conclusion to come to that, like, you know, online dad. But I also think circumstances are more complicated than that for each individual. Like, I think a lot of people latch onto the idea that Joe Rogan is a dad substitute for a lot of people. And, like, maybe, but, like, I'm, I'm, I think that conversation is less interesting then why is that the case instead of just saying like yeah that's the case and i'm not saying that that's what you're doing i'm just i've i've heard that point and i've thought about it <laughs> i think one of the problems that i have i have and one of the issues that i have difficulty coming to grips with is the breadth of human experience it is impossible to, to, to come to any sort of conclusion about anything ever. Because there are a billion people with a billion lives. And all of them can publish their experience on the internet. And they can all also lie about their experience on the internet. Fuck. You know? Like, and you have no trusted news source anymore, because the world is so cynical. For good reason. Where do you get your information, you know? Fuck. I use Twitch as something to keep me occupied while working or something in the background. Yeah, me too. I, I always have Twitch on my second monitor. I don't actively watch Twitch, really. Which I think may hold me back as, like, a creator. Because, like, I don't watch trends on YouTube or Twitch or anything. I'm just, like, I just do shit I think is cool, you know? Which is, like, fine. But it's fine for a niche group that also thinks that's cool. As opposed to, like, a broader group. And, you know. I got very lucky with Fall Guys because I was into that and it was a phenomenon. But Among Us was like, I can't, I didn't really like it. Like, it's fine, but I'm not, you know, I'm not going crazy, you know? Twitch is a platform for business versus networking versus entertainment versus socializing are all very different beasts. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think it's a weird thing because like some people treat content and Twitch and stuff like as a job. You know what I mean? Like that's your, that is your method of income. And I don't really do that, but at the same time, I feel like I, I'm somewhat obligated to do that. But more important to me than anything is having people to play games with. Shit like, you know, Men of Medan and, and uh, Har Harvester and shit like that. That's the most important. The FMV streams are my fucking favorite, I think. Because it's such a fucking... It's such a... It's, it's, it's such an obtuse thing, right? But I fucking love it. I love FMV so much. Because it represents a time in history that was, like, so optimistic. The 90s, they were like, games can be movies. Watch. And they just put out shit. And they knew it was shit, but they were like, these will be better later. I've wanted to do a video about FMV... Mo uh, FMV games for a while, but I don't know how to structure it. I don't have the fucking time. But I love FMV games. It's just like, it's, it's, it's a period of 90s just like, things will be better. <laughs> you know? Like, in the very distant future. And people thought video games would be movies. Thank you, Orbicube. I don't know why my alerts aren't working. Maybe if I refresh it. I can't wait for the once, in a, once a year Coney one hour video essay about some random trend when he was a kid. Dude, I was literally, I was talking with Vince about this. So you, this is how you know it's true. I have an idea for a series I want to do that incorporates the arcade because I'm trying to find a way to mesh YouTube and Twitch so they don't feel so distinct. Um, so I had an idea with talking about like pizza stuff, pizza games, Noid and uh, Pizza Demo Dish, shit like that. Some, some, some esoteric bullshit, right? And then literally, just last video, Dunky talks about food games. Not to say that that's like a novel concept, but that's happened to me three times now, where I've thought about something, I've been like, I kind of want to do something about this, and then fucking Dunky, of all people, does it, you know? Have you considered trying to play that Lionhead Studios game, the movie? Oh! Fuck, thank you for saying that. I'm not going to play the movies, but there's another version of it that just came out. Oh my god, I forgot about that. I, I, I got a key mailer key for it. I meant to redeem that. Yes. You're too slow. <laughs> there was another idea that I had a very long time ago that got taken from me. But I won't get into it. I was kind of sad about that. It, was a, it wasn't a big deal. It was an honest mistake. But I was like, I've learned that if I have an idea, I can't tell anybody about it unless I'm ready to go. That's all. It wasn't even taken. That sounds mean. It was, it was, it was a bad situation. That's all. It was nobody's fault. Hold on. Uh... Okay. Here we go. Calling me a double agent implies I turned out full-time donkey for half, t half time with Cody. Fuck yeah. You knew where your bread was buttered. Straight to the top. White buttons. Where the fuck do these go, actually? I found a, a rabbit hole today of YouTube people saying, um, like, Donkey is a bad video game critic. It's like, what? What the fuck are you talking about? Who cares? He's not... One trend that I hate on YouTube is critique. Like, I, I just... There's a whole vertical of YouTube of cri critics, YouTube critics, who are just fucking 20-somethings in their basement who feel empowered to, to give advice to people who have likely 
run into all the same issues they're talking about and considered them and went down a different route. You know? The only good critic is the right opinion. I've been watching his Ellen video came up and I watch him in the background. Right opinion is okay. He talks a little bit too much. Like it feels like he ne he wants to cover every base, which might be something he has to do because otherwise people will ream him out in the comments. But I whenever I watch him I'm like, yeah, I like he'll spend 3 minutes talking about all the possible angles for a for a situation, you know? It's probably because of the people who regurgitate critiques like gospel to seem smart. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, an, uh, there's a big issue with audience. And there always has been. It's the same as the fucking ego raptor shit when he would, like, say shit about, I don't know, Ocarina of Time or Mega Man X and everybody would just treat it like gospel. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not excusing fans, but he's not responsible for that, you know? Didn't Angry Video Game Nerd get created as a parody of those kinds of people? I don't think so. I think he was before all that. I think Nerd was more... I don't think he was a parody of those people as much as he was a parody of just the general long play. Or the let's play crap. You know what I mean? Like... I don't think it was quite so high, bro. But maybe. I mean... I don't remember. I think he was too early for that, though. It was a parody of people on forums. I mean, that used to be the shit on YouTube, man. Look at this old game nobody's ever heard of. What the fuck? That's crazy. Thank you for the sub, Bright Bird. I just saw the uh, thing. The alerts aren't popping. I don't know why. So these are start buttons, I guess. I kind of wish I had the thing on them. So like player one, player two, player three, player... Wait, if these are the start buttons, why are there eight of them? I don't know what these are. Huh. Buy the pictures for the buttons? Yeah, I... Well, I don't think I can open this. No. Fuck. Maybe I just make it these four? But then... I'll figure it out later. The weirdest thing to me about the online age are the amount of people who fall into the same trap falls as like normal celebrities, which is like taking advantage of your audience. And whether that's like, you know, in a in a predatory way or like in a I guess it's all predatory, but financially or in other ways. It's just fucking weird, man. I guess that means that it's it's more complicated than we think, you know? It's like people look at celebrities, they're like, oh, how could Kevin Spacey do that? But I guess it's about power, you know? I don't know. Shit's weird to me. I don't know why people do that shit. I have to stand for this. Even a little fame makes some people feel untouchable. It's weird though, man. Like, internet fame is not real. You could be famous on the internet and, like, you can't do anything with it, you know? 
Twitter followers don't mean shit. Twenty-two out of who knows anymore. We got two, four, six more. Six more buttons, then we're done. If people think they'll get away with shit, it's easy for them to justify doing. I don't know if it has anything to do with fame. I, but I, I think I don't think it's a fame thing. I think it's power. That's what I'm saying is I, I think it I think it's all rooted in like the idea that like I can do this without repercussion, you know? But I don't know. I'm not a fucking psychiatrist. Thank you, Ray Zero. Internet's weird, man. Armchair psychology is pog. I, I fucking minored in psychology. I wanted to be a therapist. I wanted to do psychology. And then I became misanthropic. I don't know when it happened, but I just cared less and less about people. I was like, I don't want to do that anymore. Type supervisors get the same kind of power high even though they're not managers. Oh. Kony, have you thought about that Pokemon Straps Snap Stream? No, because that the Pokemon Snap Stream was just on no clip. I wasn't gonna actually stream the game. Although, I have, I have a bunch of games that I'm probably going to be streaming in the near future. Um, I think the sweet spot for me on streaming is Nintendo adjacent. So it's not like strictly Nintendo or, or Smash adjacent. So it's like Nintendo shit or stuff that's like... That stuff is fun for me and people seem to like it. As opposed to like, you know, AAA shit. Nobody's watching me for AAA shit. And why would they, you know? What are all the other holes for? Buttons. <laughs> these are... I don't know what these four do. I think they control, like, the system. Like, back, up, down, whatever. Uh, this is a trackball. This is a pad. Or uh, a stick. Which I'm not going to install tonight because I need to do it under this. Um, trackball, stick, spinner. I don't know. I don't know why I got a four-player cabinet. I'm never going to have four people down here. I just, I, I, for the one time in five years, I have a bunch of people at my house. I don't want to have the cabinet downstairs and be like, oh yeah, I would love to play Simpsons, but I can't. You know? I'm building for that moment. Dude, Juliet already loves this. I took this upstairs for a second to work on it, and Juliet's, like, pushing the buttons. She's at that age. Dude! One weird thing about being a dad... Oh, my God. So, I was, uh... So, we were at Mal's grandparents' place for her birthday, and, uh... Juliet started, like... I started saying things, and Juliet was, like, trying to say it back. 
And then eventually I was like, I'm the baby. And she started saying like, I'm a baby. I'm like, oh, holy shit. It's weird, man. You watch them develop in real time. She's like trying to say the same things I am. It's crazy. Mallory would never play arcade games, but Mallory swears she's a gamer. She's a fake gamer. Am I right, fellas? Mal likes The Sims, Animal Crossing, and Candy Crush. That's not a meme. That's what she's into. She won't play anything with me. Coney out here gatekeeping. Sounds like games to me. No, because I'd be like, hey, babe, do you want to play this or do you want to watch this? No, thanks. All right. Play your Animal Crossing, I guess. She's not a true gamer. Name every villager. Put some good puzzle games on an arcade machine. Actually, one of the things she said today was uh, she was like, um, she was like, maybe, you know, while you're streaming sometime, I'll just come down and play something behind you. I'll be like, that, was, that would be awesome, please. I would love that. I'm streaming and she just comes down and starts playing Tetris or something. Jude. This is the last piece. Uh, I need a knife. Whatever. This is the last thing I'll do tonight. It's golden. Oh my god, this is huge. It's golden tea, baby! Listen to that sound. How the fuck? How does this go in? I don't know how to put this in. Arcade wiring is a fucking nightmare. Do you see this? Nothing is ever simple. What the fuck is this? Oh, dude, I'm absolutely playing monkey ball. Oh my god, this is too big. This, this. Fuck. What do I do? Get to take the plastic piece off the top and put it on top. No. No, because the the ball is like in here. And the underside is yeah, this isn't gonna work. Well, hold on. Wait. The problem is this. Do you see this? It the box is so big under it that 
Fuck. You mean the plastic part goes like this? No, it's not. The box is too big. It's not elevated enough at all. Fuck. Fuck! What am I gonna do? The track hole hole is way close, too close to the buttons. I agree, dude. I didn't want eight buttons for this reason. I don't need this, but they gave it to me, and I don't feel like fixing it now. So, whatever. But yeah, I hate it. Maybe I can return it. I bought these so long ago, I can't fucking return it. Doesn't matter. I mean, I, I when am I gonna play a fucking, you know? When was I gonna play a, a trackball game anyway? Anyway, we're done. All oh, these feel good. Can't wait to play fucking Donkey Kong Country on this. As weird as it is. You know? My wife and I are around your guys' ages and we love your stream, YouTube. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. It's weird to me, like, that there are so many people out there that I don't know about. You know what I mean? Like, because I, I know all the regulars on the stream, but, like, people on YouTube or, like, you know, so many other people that I don't know. It's weird to me, you know? So reading stuff like that means a lot. Thank you very much. It's weird how the goalposts change when you do content shit, you know? Like, I remember thinking, you know, once I hit, you know, 10k subs, I'm going to be at a good spot on YouTube. And now it's like, I'm, for me to hit 10k on a video, that's like a great video. And I'm like, excited. But now if I hit 10k, I'm like, oh, that's fine. The goalposts always change in the pursuit of numbers, you know? And I, I feel like I'm at a stage in my life where I can avoid that feeling. But I feel like I see why other people get sucked into it. You know what I mean? That's so weird to me. All right, uh, done with this for now. I love putting key caps. Putting key caps. Yes. I love that shit. Coney, what's your keyboard? Corsair K68, I think. Something like that. I don't know. It was really cold in here earlier. Now it's fine. Let me see if I can find this. Uh... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hold on. This is the place I got my thing from. I'm gonna see what size I need for a uh, trackball. See, this was the other option. I could either get the whole thing fucking built for 1200, 
with a 43 inch screen and then it's all together and all the pieces are there and I don't have to worry about it, but it's not on a CRT. And CRTs have soul, you know? This was an arcade control panel kit. Two inch white non LED USB trackball. That's what I need a two inch trackball. Because they made a cut for it. Wait, where did I say it was four player? It was this one. This was it. Yeah, you see that fucking trackball, how close that is? I hate that. Yeah, this is what I have right here. Two inch trackball, so I need a two inch. Why is that one 110 when the builder is one? This one's so much better, but I think it's only two player. Yeah, this one's only two player. This site blows, by the way. This site sucks. Yeah, these guys are only two player. That's why I went with the other one. Yeah. So this was it. This is the same one I, I have, except I don't have the four way stick there, but I have this. That's what that button is. It's coin. That's what those buttons are. Coin start. Coin start. Okay. Interesting. I can always change those. Actually. Okay. Use this one. 40 bucks, though? Fuck that. The fuck out of here. This, this trackball wasn't that much. I don't know how much it was. eBay for trackball? Yeah, I don't care about the trackball that much. Like... I don't care about the trackball that much. Is this the same thing? That one looks too big too for the hole that I have it. It's hard to tell though. Dude, these are expensive. What the fuck? Which one do I have? I probably have the three inch. Wait, I paid a hundred bucks for that? Why are trackballs so fucking expensive? Why not measure it?
where do I start measuring? The ball itself? That's a three inch. That's a. Oh, wait, there's a packing slip. Oh, wait, the bottom of it. three inches. And it's the RGB illuminated ball. I did get it at a discount because my my friend has a uh, has a um, has a discount there. He has like a membership, so it's not quite that expensive. I was confused when you said forty was too much. My bad. Yeah, I'm a silly goose. Maybe I can, uh, maybe I can return it to them if I, if my friend tells them. But fuck. <sighs> Cringe. It's fine. At least I got something done. Oh, God. Hobbies suck. I just want this to work. No, I don't use MATLAB. I just got this on rain meter. I haven't adjusted these yet. It's a rain meter skin I haven't worked with yet. It's called Dubis. What happened to the jerky? Dude, the jerky is... It never came in. Some of it did. I have the python jerky right here next to me. But the rest of it just didn't come in and I haven't been... I haven't been asked to go figure it out. Meat scammed. No, I, I didn't even get charged. It's just like... I don't know. It's annoying. When you start making things as a hobby, you're guaranteed to buy something in the wrong size. Yeah, I might be able to return it. I also have a $50 JAMA extender that I don't need anymore. Because now I have a Raspberry Pi. So now, the piece that I'm waiting on to come in is this. It's a it's a JAMA adapter for ARP Arcade. So basically it's it's a Pi that runs this shit, which I can take off this corny just I'll find a new UI. Um But apparently there's an HDMI out, which I think should work for the stream. And if it doesn't then I'm gonna have to engineer something else, which will be annoying. Yeah, see, there's an HDMI here. Which I think should go into the same spot. Maybe if I split it. I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work. RetroPie? 
Uh, this is Arpicade, which is its own thing. It looks like this. It looks good. This is what I'm going for. I just want the fucking CRT, man. CRT's bang. Look at that. Oh, that's so juicy. God, feels so good. Fake arcades love having the ugly UI overlays. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I want something that is... I don't know. I want it looking... I'm, I'm a minimalist, so... Look at this shit. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. That just looks cool. So if I can get this to run, and if I can get the HDMI to come here, and get a cam over there, we have a lot of ideas. I have a lot of ideas for this. I have ideas on how to make this shit content too, so it's not just like arcade games. I have I have fun ways of doing this. All right, all right. I'm done for the night. I'm going to bed. Uh, who are we gonna raid? I was gonna do the uh, Twitter video, but I'll do that tomorrow. Basically, I'm gonna be doing a quick video on that Twitter thread because I think it would be funny. Dude, I can't believe Salty Bet. So I raided Salty Bet the other night. You need to follow them for a month before you can chat. Oh my god, Sonic's here. Like. One fucking month. What the fuck? That's crazy. Look at Sonic go. Okay, that's Maxima, right? I don't know why his name is Mongori. I don't think he has that, uh... I've been following the channel for years, but don't chat. Yeah, I don't chat either, and I don't, I don't follow it, because, like, you know... I don't generally follow streams. Um... Let's go to EE, I guess. I always go to EE. What's Pup playing? Is he playing Melee? Cringe. Cringe. <laughs> now I'll send you guys to Plup because I'm glad Plup is streaming. He hasn't streamed in a while, so let's go to Plup. Um, let me see. We'll go to Plup. Thank you guys for tuning in. Stream tomorrow. Uh, I'm glad I got those fucking buttons done. I'm gonna go do some other stuff and go to bed. Um, stream tomorrow is gonna be that Twitter thing, and I don't know what else. Might be grab bag. Probably grab bag. I've been wanting to grab bag. Maybe FMV. I don't know. Anyway, good night.